reportedly now having spinal cord injuries. Well, federal safety officials say that they're investigating. Another GM recall. Now it's more than 3 million vehicles this time around. It totals out at like 20 million for the year. But it's for a problem you've heard about before. The, the question, I guess, Jen, is is it the model car you drive? Good morning. Good morning. And I think, you know, some of the recalls now are starting to seem trivial. This isn't one of those, this is the main one. Now, the safety issue in general has practically engulfed GM. Their CEO is going to face Congress on Thursday. But this is the latest. Check out these older versions of many GM cars. The, a lot of Buicks there, the Impala, the Cadillac DeVille, and the DTS. This is one you really don't want to write off because, again, the trouble is your keys can suddenly turn off your engine and the airbag while driving. So far, GM has recalled 20 million vehicles this year. If you want to see the list again, you can hit our Facebook page. But here's the thing I really wanted to point out. I said to someone randomly, I said, show me your keys, right? Now, she doesn't happen to drive a GM, but this is the problem. All of this can really be a problem. Your if the ignition turns off, the car turns off, and your airbag turns off at the same time. Who knew you're supposed to have just one key? Did you know that your cable and satellite TV boxes are the second biggest energy hogs in your home, that they use more energy than your refrigerator? Only the air conditioner uses more. The makers of these have agreed to cut down the power usage from those set-top boxes. But just so you know, California regulators say they are suspicious that they don't think it's going to be enough, and they say if it's too slow, they may step in. A member of that state's energy commission talked to the LA Times. All right. The most popular SUV in America, if you ask criminals, it's a Ford. I don't mean they're driving them, I mean they're stealing them. Ford SUVs are numbers one, two, and three on the list of the top most stolen SUVs and crossovers. This is from the National Insurance Crime Bureau, but they didn't say why. Is it because they're easy to steal? Is it for the parts? Is it because they are cooler? Speaking of cool. I'm joshing you, Bob. Good morning. It's all about the prestige. <laughs> How's the air travel update this morning? It's all about the prestige. Well, let me show you. We do have one delay right now, and it's O'Hare. It's about a half an hour, and that's it. And that's good news because the line of showers and storms kind of lifting up into Wisconsin. So you're getting the full force of it moving away from you, but then there's more storms in the afternoon. So I think Chicago is going to get a major delay no matter what. Right now, it's just a half an hour getting into O'Hare. Midway is clear. Later today, Detroit and Cleveland, more storms headed towards you. Phoenix, more wind for you guys in San Francisco. Morning fog, followed up by wind in the afternoon. And, of course, that means probably half hour to hour delay. All right, Justin Bieber was apparently able to beat a robbery charge, but he's not exactly in a clear just yet.